how are you i'm fine what about you yeah i'm good you look so young how old are you i'm 14 14 years old oh <laughs> you are my youngest student <laughs> yeah okay so are you still in uh, like which standard are you in i'm in class 8 Oh that's so great. I will, which is uh, I will go to class 9 uh, in April but still I am in class 8 right now Okay so online classes must be going on right Yes but offline will start from this Monday we are going to school at last after 2 years Oh <laughs> finally are you excited Yeah of course like I'm excited to see our condition of our school and how my <laughs> are doing of course yeah because when uh, classes are offline you keep meeting your friends every day but in online classes like no one takes that seriously totally yeah so is your exams uh, like exams are also online uh, right now yes they were online but now uh, the final exam will be offline so i'm also a bit of worried and nervous i would say because i have to uh, you know give it off in the offline mode So, yeah <laughs> okay after so long <laughs> yeah. yeah okay so have you like uh, thought about which stream you are going to choose after 10 standard yes um i'm going to choose science mm-hmm. of course okay. uh well biology is my favorite subject so i choose life science and physical science both and maths so these are what oh. my subjects Oh, all the tough subjects together. <laughs> yeah, that's a good combination, like. Yeah. Okay. When did you join? Like uh, this platform. Joined, uh, oh, this platform. Like, I think this is my second session. Okay. Second. Uh, I'm okay. quite new. Here. Yeah, like. Uh, till now you seem like very confident with your english and very energetic and fluent so why did you join then i think you are really good at it yes um i joined cuz you know i was uh, yes first of all due to this lockdown like i haven't mm. talked to anyone in english yet cuz you know when i used to talk with my friends then i was all i would always used to talk in english but um right now i cannot talk with anyone in english so i need to practice for that and number two is that i have a youtube channel and i want to upload these videos you know for the to let my subscribers know about this so yeah oh. <laughs> that's great okay so uh, like how long uh, have you been on youtube like do you really enjoy uh, youtube or uh, it's a very enjoyable platform you know i mostly uh, give educational videos post educational videos on science and maths especially um so uh, i have been like i was really young when i came to youtube five years maybe oh that's like Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh are you an extrovert because you seem extrovert to me? <laughs> yes, I am. I I don't think so I'm that much of an extrovert, but I would never be an introvert because I love talking to people and you know I love making friends with people. So, yeah. I am a bit yeah. of an extrovert. Yeah, that's really cool. So, you joined because you wanted to you know talk to someone and improve your skills that's why yeah. yes so uh, do you talk to your friends in english or in hindi or any other language um, no always in english like my mother tongue is bengali um, but i read in oh. i read in an english medium school so um, hmm. you know we are we have got used to like talking in english so we do talk in bengali okay. sometimes but um, mostly we talk in english in our school Yeah like i have seen like in uh, some of the schools you know they tell you that you have to compulsorily talk in english otherwise you know they will put fine or things like that yeah yeah there is yeah even our teachers used to tell us that we will charge you 10 rupees fine 50 rupees fine but <laughs> everyone <laughs> no one took it seriously yeah <laughs> yeah happened. yeah So like have you read anything like uh, uh, books or something about english literature or something that is your favorite while you are reading Yes yes um uh, i 
I usually read all the novels and story books in English. Uh, I have not got many Bengali books, but yes, I do read it in Bengali. I haven't got any Hindi books because I would not say I am really that much good at speaking Hindi or even writing it. So, uh, okay. well, <laughs> yeah, I can speak Hindi, but I would not mm. say like a professional. I can understand and everything, but you know, it's just weak. So, well, I love reading in English and um, yes, I love, uh, you know, enjoying English. I love writing in English. I have also wrote some of poems and stories and all those stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. So have you posted any of them online, like blogs or all of that stuff? Have you posted that online? No, I haven't. But, you know, for our school competitions, I used to hmm. write books because, like, I also got the first prize for creative writing one time, creative writing oh. competition or writing yeah, a poem that's... I wrote. Yeah, so, well, I, I mostly write it for school. And for oh. my, you know, I just love to write sometimes when I feel bored. So I have nothing to do and I just write a story and that. Oh, that's cool. You should, I think you should post it online on Blogspot or sites like those. Uh, yeah. You can create your own like uh, thing about, you know, and then you can keep on posting. Yeah, or you I can... know, there is an app known as Watchpad and everybody posts, posts their own made stories over there. Yeah, I have seen. I know about that okay. app. Okay. And even on like uh, social media also, like people have different they have created their own pages and they post like different creative stuff and writing and all of that. Yeah, yeah, right. That's good. Yeah, so. Because I don't have any like, except YouTube, I don't have any social media accounts. I don't have my own personal phone even. I'm really <laughs> young at this age. I yes, don't yes. have your personal phone. Yeah, even even we even I got my like first phone when I was in eleventh or twelfth, I guess. That's yeah, yeah. that was also because I had to travel, so that's why it yeah. was like needed. When yeah. When you just go alone, then you need to have a phone. That's true. How yeah. many days will you stay without phone? Yeah. Yeah. Like I have a like niece. She's really uh, she's like six years old, and she has her own phone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nowadays, go to this yeah. online. Asses, you know, everybody has their own mm. phone. Uh, friends have their own personal phone. So I was, I don't have it because uh, why do I need it? There is no need of phones right now at this age. Yeah, and actually, if you see, like uh, now, when we came in college, then you know, uh, we used to share PDF and all the study material online only on WhatsApp or other stuff. But when we were young, when we were in school, like. Uh, most stuff was not available online so like we really had to discuss with each other and we used to struggle on last days of exam so it's yeah it's good for today's generation that uh, more things are available like if you really want to study more then things are actually available online Yes, of course. You know, in YouTube, there are many video educational videos that, you know, you, you can clear your doubts over there. So like it has really worked for me. I also see a lot of educational videos. And like if you have any doubts, why to consult, you know, to consult your teacher, you need to again go to the online class support and then you need to mm. say it. over here. There is nothing like that. You just need to write it down on Google and then you will find it or even on the videos on YouTube yeah yeah exactly so like uh, as you said all of your all of your friends have phones so do you feel like left out that you don't have and they have or you um, feel like there is no need um no i don't feel left out because uh if I, if i need it then my mother gives me her phone of course you know okay. otherwise i don't really need a phone that much uh, when i listen to music and you know watch all those so yes watch youtube so my mother gives me the permission to see the phone and all that. So, well, no, I don't think so. I feel left out. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like I have seen uh, kids from today's generation, they are very addicted to playing games. So are you into games? Oh, no, no. I have not a single game <laughs> in the phone. I, I don't okay. play games. I'm not like that, playing games all the time. Okay, like uh, most of the kids were really addicted to PUBG and all of those That's games. Right. Everyone, yeah. every single everyone. Every <laughs> PUBG and Free Fire. Yeah. And 
Yeah, exactly. You are like me. Even I am not into games. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, do you enjoy watching some documentaries or some educational stuff like that? Yes. Yes, I do. I watch different kind of stuff. You know, whatever suits my mood, I watch that. Okay. So, do you have something that is your favorite, uh, like watching or documentary or any educational stuff that you really liked? documentary educational stuff um i would not say i watch that but sometimes i do mm. watch that covery channel and all those like the nature okay. and wildlife and all that that is really good you know those i love adventurous things so well over there when they like go to somewhere and they are without food and water for days and all that so that is yeah. really i just love to see that type of videos that's true like wildlife yeah. nature these are some of my favorites yeah even uh, uh, i think you're talking about the show about uh, bear grills right bear grills, yes yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm watching that show since i was a kid and i'm still yeah. watching that yeah like uh, yeah, there is nothing like some uh, and like it's the same concept but you keep go keep watching it every time like it's so much of an interesting thing like to watch yeah right. okay I- was those yeah like, and channel is a really good channel you know to just freshen your mood and all those yeah because on all other channels like they are playing serials that are like of no knowledge and no, no knowledge. use <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, and they are playing this dhumta na 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 background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and someone like they show these same kind of stuff like again and again. This ma, you know, daughter-in-law, mother-in-law, son stuff like. Yeah, the villain sorry. and the villain is always plotting against the heroine yeah. at the time. <laughs> Yeah. Then someone dies, and then someone comes back, and <laughs> yes, so it's, it's like really stupid. Actually, it's stupid. Totally. <laughs> I just yeah, don't get why so many people are addicted to to those serials. Like everybody's like, "Hey, have you watched the previous episode yesterday?" So yeah. I just don't get the thing yeah. with serials. Yeah, but. most of the younger generation have moved to netflix and those stuff netflix. but the older generation yeah the older generation are still into those only yes. yeah yeah does your mother does your mom watches such kind of shows no no my mom never watches serial <laughs> but uh, she is like different okay okay have you watched anything like uh, series or any uh, stuff like that you like hollywood uh, bollywood Thing. Yes, yes. Of course, I have watched movies. I would not say I have watched too many series. Like I don't really see web series that often. But I'd love to watch movies like Hollywood, Bollywood, anything. Okay. So you said you like listening to music. So which who is your favorite artist, like singer? Uh, uh, I really listen to English music mostly. So in English, maybe I have these. Many singers I have. I would not be able to say one artist as my favorite, like okay. um, um, Ariana Grande, Shawn Mendes, Taylor Swift, um, yeah. Selena Gomez, and in Hindi, yeah. um, Arijit Singh, um, Shreya Ghoshal, yeah. and a lot more. Like yeah. I listen to every singer. Yeah, exactly. Like I have seen no like. Everyone likes Arijit Singh. I have not seen one person who does not like his music. <laughs> so soothing to like hear, you know, you're in any mood and you will just love it. Yeah, exactly. So, how uh, how is your home surrounding? Like, are you chill with your parents and do you share everything with them, or is there like some things which are problematic? No, no. I'm I'm living a really good life with my parents in my home. I'm staying here from my birth in this home, and I'm still now in my home. I think I would move from here. I don't know. Maybe in eleven, if I need to go to some other school, I. But I have to move from here in college. That's true. I don't think uh, there are there are not many good colleges over here. So maybe I have yeah. to move from here to you know some good college, and maybe yeah. I have to stay in the hostel that time. Right now, I'm yeah. totally good in my home. Yeah, 
yeah hostel life is actually like it has its bad and good side but mostly good side yeah now you will yeah. enjoy it has been into hostels yeah it's quite memorable the hostel life that yeah stuff. yeah yeah you can make friends while you are filling your water bottle <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Totally. that's the thing yeah okay so what is uh, like uh, what do you enjoy the most like when you are free what do you like in doing uh, the most whenever you are free yes yeah, so whenever i am free as i said music music and then i love to read books cuz books mm. like i just love reading books i don't know why um, any books would go like mostly novels and story books and subject books so yeah maybe these two and writing and then um uh, i'd not say this is free time but i love traveling too mm. traveling really but unfortunately now due to this lockdown i yeah uh, exactly <laughs> yeah okay so how many members are there in your family do you have siblings no i don't have i'm an only child oh <laughs> okay so all of all the attention is giving to, given to you itself yes. <laughs> yeah okay so uh, do you feel like you should have been with a sibling or uh like what would be the situation if you had a sibling or you are just satisfied being a single child um i think it would be much more lively if i had a sibling cuz you know uh, to, uh like i love to talk as i said so i have no one to talk to right now like anything i know i can talk with my parents about any issue but you know just like that to talk to someone so yeah. i sometimes i do feel exactly. a little bit lonely Uh, so that's why i have started uh, maintaining a diary so i can write anything that i want over there so the yeah. diary has really helped me a lot you know it's like a sibling that i never had <laughs> yeah so, that's yeah. cool because it's different you can talk to your parents but uh, still uh, with your sibling yeah. it's kind of different yeah something else you know yeah. um, she is like a friend but you know a much more uh, related to you so well mm. yes there are some like cons that i feel like being an only child but yes there are some advantages too like my parents can give the entire attention to me so i have yes. no problem in my studies and all those so if i mm. had a sibling maybe i would i would have got some problem and lack of attention so well yes there are advantages and disadvantages so why to look at the disadvantages just let's look at the advantages yeah exactly Okay, so uh, do you prefer being in a joint family or a nuclear family? Um, I am in a nuclear family. Just three members: my mother, my father, me. So, well, uh, I think both are good. Like same, like having a sibling or not, both have their own advantages and disadvantages. Mm. Um, well, joint family, you know, that is a good thing because you can adjust. you can know how to adjust with people so if you go somewhere else then you will not face that problem to adjust because there are too many people and you know how to adjust with them and live there so well yeah. it, it does not happen in the nuclear family but there is another thing in nuclear family that you know i can concentrate on my studies but as my mother mm. uh, when she was like young she used to live in a joint family and she couldn't concentrate in her studies because there was sound coming yeah, from all directions exactly. so noise Same all the time yeah same yeah, was the time there <laughs> yes totally so yeah. you know i think to focus on your studies a uh, quiet place is better and i think you get a quiet place in a nuclear family yeah and also you know competition is much more in today's generation like in previous generation mm -hmm. competition was much less but nowadays yeah. like it's a race yeah yes totally like you know you never know that when somebody is just going to you know up uh, overtake you and like be the first girls so that's true yeah. there is a lot of competition right now yeah very much and you have to keep working hard to maintain where you are right now and uh, yeah. you know even in uh, when you are taking admissions in college you know you might have seen the cut off in uh, delhi like it's like really high 100% 99% cut off yeah, and yeah. Stuff like that like totally. that's impossible to reach there like Uh, yeah, in India, yeah, yeah, yeah. In India, in India, you might have seen that 
people you know give more importance to like uh, written knowledge and marks and all of that so yeah, yeah but uh, uh, sometimes it's like people have skills but they don't score very well so what do you think uh, is the should the ratio be maintained like this or should people give more importance to skills also instead of just written marks Oh uh, well, yes. I can think so. Just written marks should go. But you know, to get into a college, um, talent is just that. So you know, when you need to get to a job, that maybe a uh, interview or something like that to prove how much you're worthy of it should be taken. Just not just an exam, but uh, to go to a college, um, to study actually further, written is enough. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. so uh, our time is up and it was oh, really really good talking to you <laughs> like I, <laughs> yeah i really enjoyed it very much and uh, i had i have to give like feedback to you uh, but i could not find any grammatical mistakes so <laughs> uh, you are good at it you are fluent and as you said you joined because you wanted to just practice and that's a good thing i hope to me see you soon again okay yeah, yeah. sure you really maintain your enthusiasm you are really good at it <laughs> yeah it was cool talking to you see you again yeah, yes. yeah. okay bye 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 have a good night bye